So I was actually doing the stats on all of my travels for the year. And I figured out that I went and stayed at 42 different accommodations, 30 plane rides, nine trains, two boats, and one car rental. And that's for a total of 12 different countries. I went to Ireland, Spain, the United Kingdom, France, Indonesia, Singapore, Cambodia, Austria, Slovakia, Hungary, Sweden, and of course, the good old USA. So after a full year of continuous travel, what did I pack in my suitcase? Well, it took some trial and error to get everything packed down to what you see here. I definitely started out overpacking. Here's some video from earlier in my travels. Wow, this is a lot of stuff. As I was laying it out, I was laughing to myself based off the sheer quantity of the stuff that I've packed. It's a lot. These were all the clothing items that I started out with. And look at how many shoes. This is proving to be really hard. All of the items that I packed, I feel like I need. I have to be prepared for all scenarios, right? Warm weather, cold weather, athletic wear, formal wear. It's a lot of stuff. These items are all going to be donated and all these things will be going back into storage for another day. Okay, this is me in my getup. When I'm traveling and flying, this is what I'm wearing and this is what I'm traveling with. Just one suitcase and one backpack and these exact clothes. So this is Travel Mackenzie right here. Let's see what's inside this one. This is what this luggage looks like, fully packed. And we'll go through most of the items in here. And of course, we'll go through each item of what I carried onto the plane with me. All right, just a quick breakdown of what's in this luggage first. This is a Travel Pro suitcase. I highly recommend it. I would buy nothing else. These have served me so well. I travel with a pillow and a reusable shopping bag. These are super handy. Inside here, I have all my sweaters. Then we've got some toiletries, makeup, and these are all my clothing, clothing and accessory packs by Eagle Creek, love them. I know where everything is in these packs. All right, and then getting down in it, I just have uh, my shoes on this side and a bunch of loose toiletry items, another bag with loose items again. This is everything, it's pretty basic. Let me move this over and show you what each item is. And as I'm zipping it up, I did want to say yes, this bag weighs exactly 50 pounds. That's a very important number. Okay, so these are all my clothes that I traveled with, but we're gonna start off with my puffy coat. This is by Enlightened Equipment. This is what I use while hiking. This thing keeps me so warm. It's so well uh, insulated and lightweight, and I wouldn't go anywhere without it. So besides this Patagonia sweater that I have on now, which I love, I've got five sweaters. And for shirts, let's see, I've got 13. You can tell that I've tried to keep a neutral color palette. I only have black, white, and blue items, so this makes it really easy to mix and match everything. And bottoms. I have six pants and two pairs of shorts. I traveled with three kinds of hats. This fedora for sun protection, this cap for all kinds of adventures, and a lightweight beanie. Okay, let's see what's in this pack. Okay, so in this pack I had a lot of accessories. I traveled with three different scarves, one bathing suit, a pair of warm gloves. Um, these are like half gloves. And I only travel with one, two, three, four. Four pairs of socks, that's it. Two black socks, one warm pair of socks, and one toe liners, because I like those for hiking. I've got two headbands here. This is a handkerchief, and these are some more items that I would use for hiking. A knee brace in case I need that. Um, these are gaiters so stuff doesn't get in your shoes and rain pants. In here, I counted it, I travel with 12 pairs of underwear. In this little pack, I keep my black dress because that has so many good uses. 
So this is the dress. It's made by American Giant. It's wool. It doesn't get wrinkled very easily. It's somewhat modest in case I have to wear it in like a Muslim country or go to a church or anything like that. Um, yeah, it's good to have a universal, simple black dress like this. Okay, so let's see what I have in this bag. Uh, first of all, I wanna say that this mesh bag doubles as a laundry bag for washing uh, delicate things, so that's useful. A pair of long pajamas and short pajamas. This is just a white workout zip up. Then I have a luxury item. This is something that I don't need to travel with. I just love it, it's super soft, and this is a kimono. And these right here are laundry detergent sheets. So I can always have laundry detergent wherever I travel. And this is a long sleeve dress that's linen and it's lightweight, it's formal. So I can either like dress this up or dress this down wherever I'm going. Really like this dress, it's a good piece to have. And this is the slip that goes with it. Last pack, let's see what's in it. So here I travel with uh, two bras, two sports bras. This is a bodysuit. Uh, this is like a bra and underwear set. But this little dish right here, I don't go anywhere without it. Uh, every night when I go to bed, I take off my jewelry and I set it right here and I always know where that is. So I will always travel with a little bedside dish like this. Okay, let's talk shoes. I have my hiking shoes that I also use to fly in. These are my nice sneakers. Oh, these are made by Hoka. These are made by Rothy's. These are a pair of Rothy flats, love those. My Birkenstock sandals, my lightweight Teva sandals. And these are just a pair of sandals that I wear inside so my feet don't get dirty. And all my shoes travel in shoe bags so everything stays clean in my suitcase. Okay, I have a bunch of miscellaneous items all laid out here. I will just start at this end. Just a little ditties bag, some face cream, perfume, this is a pack towel. It's really great to just have a towel on hand for when you go swimming at the beach or you want a picnic blanket. Um, this has a lot of uses. Uh, COVID tests, some hairspray. This is my laundry bag. This is a rain jacket by Enlightened Equipment, the same people that make my puffy coat. It's super lightweight, very durable, and I love this thing. Gotta have an umbrella. These lint rollers come in handy more than you think. This is a beach cover-up. This is uh, my essential oils kit, and I have another uh, reusable bag. This is just a simple bag that you would get at the grocery store when you get fruits or vegetables, but you never know when you have to put a wet bathing suit into your luggage, so I always keep one of these on hand. I only travel with one belt and a cork massage ball. This will really get into any knots. A tiny little reusable water bottle that I put in my bag. These are my vitamins, and I think that's everything. Okay, so these are the two extra bags that I travel with. This little mini handbag is from Rothy's. It's washable, uh, it's flexible, I love this. It's just big enough to carry the essentials. And if I'm going out in the city or on a hike, uh, I take this, I pack it with whatever I need, my camera gear, water bottle. Uh, this backpack is really good. It's anti-theft. You can uh, connect it to the back of a chair. Uh, you can see this little loop right here. You can feed the zipper through that and then someone can't pull it down. And yeah, it's, it's just got a lot of great features. Okay, so this is my ditty bag that I keep a lot of loose items in. First, I wanna talk about the bag. It's um, made by Z-Packs. This is something that I used for my hike. It's super lightweight material and very durable. So again, trying to save on weight. And let's just see what's in it. Okay, just a random plastic bag, always good to have. This is a headlamp. I don't go anywhere without it. I love this thing. Uh, menstrual cup. This is for online banking, masks, a thermometer, uh, another little change purse. Uh, this is my night guard. This right here, nail clippers. I've got some random Sudafed. This is my shampoo and conditioner bars. Uh, sunscreen stick. Uh, this is a lightweight washcloth. It's a very small washcloth, comes in handy. Okay, I will always travel with a bottle opener. You have no idea how many times I've used this thing in a pinch. 
and some random hair ties and a clip. And that's that. Then I've got some personal items like wipes, pads, my makeup bag. So this is where I keep a lot of my liquids. Um, I've just got some like sunscreen, some face toner, wrinkle release spray, some hair oil, some more vitamins, uh, deodorant stick, lotion. What do I have in here? Oh yeah, some band-aids, pair of scissors, earplugs, uh, little floss picks. In this front part, I keep all my medicines, so anything I need, um, I just always have that on hand. And then in the center here, let's see, we've got toothbrush, floss, toothpaste, some Benadryl cream. This is the little toothbrush holder that you just kind of set uh, on the table there so it, your toothbrush stands upright. Love that. Uh, razor, tie to go pen, some more lotion, um, nail polish remover, cleansing wipes. Um, what is this? This is for sore throats. And oh, I love traveling with a tape measure. Oh, and I travel with a Kula cloth. If you don't know what this is, look it up, ladies. And let's see, some nail polish. And I almost forgot here in the secret pocket, I keep a sewing kit just in case you need to repair something. You've already seen this, my flight outfit. But for my packing strategy, there's four more categories I pack for with varying temperatures in mind. Sleepwear for hot, warm, and cool temperatures. Athletic wear, again, for hot, warm, and cool temps. Casual wear. And lastly, some formal outfits. Okay, let's do a quick overview of my pack. This is a wandered backpack. I've been traveling with it for years. It is so durable. I have had no issues with it whatsoever. And I would travel with this bag all over the world again and again. So let's dive into my backpack here. In the back, we've got uh, a place where I keep my passport and some essential cards. And at the bottom here, I always travel with my yoga mat rolled up. This is a lightweight, super thin, great travel yoga mat that I'll make sure to link. And in the front here, let's see. An extra jacket in case I get cold on the plane and just an extra canvas bag uh, in case I buy something at the airport like food and I just wanna carry that on with me. Then we're gonna open it up here. So here's where I keep all my camera gear and cables. I've got a couple of hard drives. I travel with a GoPro. I travel with this camera that's recording this video right now. Uh, SD card converter, portable Wi-Fi, different cables and chargers for around the world. Oh yeah, so these are just some like loose camera items. And then over here, I've got my laptop. And these are some of just the paper items that I travel with. This is the one book, uh, The Down to Ching by Ursula Le Guin. Um, love this book. Yeah, just some loose papers, a journal, and again, just some more travel papers. So this is everything that I usually carry in the top part of my backpack. This is my flight pack. It's got everything I need for long haul flights. I travel with three kinds of glasses. Glasses case, this is a turtle pillow that I fly with. I absolutely love this thing. It gives great neck support. Uh, this is some bamboo cutlery, some pens and pencils, my jewelry, a bento box for when I've got some extra meals that I wanna travel with, a pair of goggles, some sunscreen. This is a lightweight tripod that I hiked with. I really like this one. And these are a pair of compression socks for long flights. These are the last items that would have gone in my backpack. This is a Manfrotto tripod, a Canon G7X power shot, and a little mounting device. 
One more item I forgot to film, I travel with a Life Straw water bottle that filters any questionable or tap water into clean and drinkable water. It saves on so many plastic bottles. Okay, that's everything that I had. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. If you have any questions about any items, leave a comment uh, below. Also, I've put a link into uh, all the products that I showed you today that I could find on the internet. And again, if you purchase anything on Amazon, I do get a kickback and that's just another way you can support this channel. You can also like and subscribe. You know what to do. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh my God. It looks like my suitcase exploded all over my room. <laughs> now I got to clean all this up. <laughs>